Hi guys, this is Tara with Guy Tarot 13, and this is your weekly tarot card forecast for April 17th, 2016 through April 23rd, 2016. Let's see, I've got them jumping. I think they were kind of buzzing last week, but... Okay, as always, I will pull three cards from the tarot card deck. One for your work and financial life, one for your love and romantic life, and one for your home and family life. And since I've got them all, let's get going here. For your work and financial life, we have the moon upright. Something is hidden from you at work. You don't have all the information. Now, this doesn't have to be bad. People automatically think information's hidden and secrets and that's bad. That people want to know everything about everyone in every situation, but then they want to be keeping their own secrets. So, <laughs> know that this doesn't have to be a bad thing. This could be something like there's just stuff going on maybe with coworkers around you, maybe some coworkers are planning to leave, maybe your job is planning to move to a new building or something. It could just be like there are plans being made that you don't know about. And I'm really getting the feeling from this that it's not involving you. Like it's kind of something going on around you, but that you're not directly involved in. So it's not like someone at work is withholding something from you and it's going to be to your detriment or even to your benefit. It's just kind of like, there's just stuff you don't know. It's not directly necessarily affecting you, although, you know, if your office is planning on to moving to a new building, that's going to affect you, right? But it's not in the same way that someone plans on taking a project that you're working on away from you. You know what I mean? Like, it's moving is not affecting you the same way someone taking a project is going to affect you, you know? So, it's just kind of like that secondary effect. Kind of like, it's going to it's gonna affect you, but it's not a big deal, whatever. You don't care where you work, one building or another building, whatever. So, that's kind of what's going on. There's stuff buzzing around at work about other people or about your job as a whole, not your job, but about like the firm as a whole or whatever. And you just, you're kinda in the, in the dark about it, which could be good because maybe it's preventing you from being wrapped up in a whole bunch of drama that you don't necessarily want or need to be wrapped up in, right? So stuff going on at work you just don't really know about, not a big deal. In your Love and romantic life, we have the Three of Cups reversed. Now this is generally a card of, I mean, look at them, they're gathering, I'm gonna get a little closer. They're gathering and they're having parties and it's friendships, right? But it's reversed. So, not the best card. I'm just gonna be right up front about it. It could be that maybe you have some fake friends <laughs> someone with values that don't line up with yours, something along those lines. But because it's in your um, love and romantic life, it could be, I mean, it could be something like an unrequited love, right? Which, you know, no one really wants, but it's not the worst thing on the scale of things that could happen, right? It could be that someone you're interested in you find out that they are kind of a different person than you thought they were. Like, maybe you're really into reading and, like, what's going on out in the world, like, world news and, like, uh, you know, things like that, like, social events, and you're really, like, politic-minded or something. And this person that you are interested in is, like, did you watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians last night? Or, you know, just something like that. You know, just, you know, more into media or things that aren't real or real important. Um, 
and then that could just kind of like shatter your illusion of them, you know? So it could be that something like that, like where you find out that someone you're interested in really has some sort of values that aren't in line with your own. So, you know, it's not the best card, but honestly, it's not the worst card to have there. It's better to know those things up front, right? In your home and family life, we have the Nine of Swords reversed. What are you worrying about? Because you're stressing about something. Stress, anxiety, I mean, look at it, like, look at that person. They just seem like the world is coming to an end, right? Like, head in the hands, freaking out. Some of those swords are actually appear to be stabbing through them, right? That's obviously someone freaking out. Stress, anxiety, um, fear, doubts, right? When it's reversed, it means that all that stuff that you're freaking out about, nothing's going to come of it. Like, you're freaking out for no reason. That's what this card means. So, chill. That's, that's my advice for this week in your home and family life. Chill out. Just relax. Whatever you're freaking out about is not going to come to pass. And so, freaking out about it is kind of a waste of time, right? Maybe knowing that nothing's going to come of it can help you kind of like, right? That's the message this week for your home and family life. Nothing's going to come of that. Try and, you know, just try and let it go because nothing's going to come of it. That's what we've got going on this week, guys. Looks like it's going to be an interesting week. I don't know. Good, bad. It's kind of how you make of it. We've got the, uh, the moon, hidden stuff in your work section. Perhaps some incompatibility issues in your love life. And then in your home and family life, take a chill pill. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me every day on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull a tarot card every single day, reading the energy of that specific day. Thanks, guys. It's going to be a wonderful week. We'll see you next time.